Today, I am redoing my Pine Snakes Zen Habitat, and I'm turning this into this. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today is an exciting day. I feel like I say that every episode, but today really is an exciting day. First of all, we're gonna redo my Pine Snakes enclosure, so I'm so excited for that. But also, we just released these new shirts. These Casper is my swim buddy shirts. It's now on Shopify and you can grab your own. We'll post the link below super cute they come in all different styles men women t-shirts racer backs possibly masks soon we'll have to see but if you want to get your own you can check out the link so i wanted to do something really natural for my pine snakes enclosure a couple of months ago i have a video of me setting it up which i loved it but i got a little bored and wanted to redo it so today i am trying for my first time ever to do a DIY reptile background. So you can take a look here. We already did some foam yesterday. This is what I used. It's called Great Stuff. It's like a foam sealant. So we did this last night. It is super solid and dry. So now we're gonna add the silicone and our cocoa fiber and everything. Like I said, this is my first time doing this. I was always really intimidated, but it's really not that hard. I watched a bunch of YouTube tutorials and now I'm an expert, so we got this. So what I'm going for is like a naturalistic rock background. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. I found a lot of inspiration online. I just want something super simple. I don't even know if I'm gonna mix moss. A lot of people mix like sphagnum moss. I kind of like just like the brown. So I guess we're gonna see. But here I have a little bit of cork bark and I left a little spot right here for a plant. I got a beautiful pothos plant that hopefully will grow down. And I also left a couple of inches blank so we can do the substrate. So I guess I'm gonna put gloves on. This is 100% silicone so it's safe for animals. We're gonna do this, spread it around, and then add the cocoa fiber. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be enough, so maybe we'll do small sections at a time and see how it goes. Yeah, it's gonna be a learning experience. <laughs> Valid, so. Or just press this. Yeah, yeah, you just squish the, squish the thing. Okay. Shoot the thing. Okay. what it looks like it looks pretty good there's a little bit of excess that we're gonna have to clean out this is where the pothos plant is gonna go and then that's a hole for either like a fogger or if you want to put like a waterfall or something so I may just cover that with fake plants so now Jenna and I are gonna go to Michael's and get some fake plants and hopefully finish this enclosure today Jenna and I just got back from the store we got a couple things I got this gorgeous log hide from PetSmart. It's so realistic, it's so pretty. And then we got some um, substrate and some fake plants and stones. So now we're gonna clean this up, decorate. We still have to repot the pothos plant to put it in there. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited about this. So Jenna's gonna help me add the substrate first. We're just going with simple recti bark. Um, I wanted to try this and it's good for burrowing. So we're gonna do that. And then I got these adorable little air plants and we're gonna put that in the background. substrate is in it's looking so good and again guys this is my zen habitat um they were so generous and they sent this to me a couple months ago i absolutely love them i'm actually getting another zen habitat for the ball python which is going to go right on top of this one so really excited about that and i will put my affiliate link below so if you guys want to check out 
Zen Habitat um, and you want to purchase something, definitely use my affiliate link and let them know that I sent you. So now we're just going to break apart this um, pothos plant and make it fit in that little folder. Jenna is like an expert at this. I am not. So she's going to do it for me. I kill every plant that I touch. Let's see what we can do. Cinder. We can probably fit all of it. It's not a litter box, Cinder. <laughs> All right, the plan is in, it's looking great. And then we also got this just dried moss from Home Depot. So we're just using that to decorate and putting it on top. And um, eventually we'll silicone that as well. But now we can add the air plants. I love air plants. These look so realistic and they were only like $2. So let's find uh, places to put them. Look at my air plants. I literally just stabbed them into the foam and they stayed. It's really coming together. Has it there? Yeah, that's pretty. Let's see if we can stab that in there. Oh God. Awesome. <laughs> Amazing. It looks really good. This is looking so good, especially with the live plants and the air plants and the moss. So now it's time to decorate. We got our natural looking hide in. I got some stones. I'm just gonna kind of, I don't know where I'm gonna put them yet. Just kind of decorate it. Then we'll add her water dish and a couple more plants. And then we will do the big reveal. So this is what it looks like with everything inside. We added her water dish, one of the logs that I had for her, a fake fern. It looks so good with all the moss and the air plants. And I cannot wait to introduce her and to get some good lighting on this. I'm so excited how this turned out, especially because this is my first DIY background. And I just love how natural it looks and I think Cypress is gonna love it too. All right, guys, her enclosure's all ready, and we are all ready to introduce her into her new setup. Right, guys well once again I am super excited about how my first DIY background came out it looks amazing and I'm gonna do something similar for TikTok's enclosure as well uh, Cypress is gonna take a little time to get used to her new habitat she's in there hiding but I'm sure she's going to love it and it's so beautiful again thank you so much Zen Habitats for sending me this enclosure and thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned because this month we're also gonna be setting up TikTok's enclosure I know everybody is very excited for that so thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you next week week. Bye.